Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is timeline search bar. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects and you know how in After Effects you can, you know, select any of the layers here and maybe hit S on your keyboard and then you'll see scale or R to see rotation or, you know, T for opacity and so on. Or you can maybe not select any of them and hit A to see anchor points for each layer, but you get the idea. There are certain things you can't uh, bring up using keyboard shortcut because we don't have shortcuts for it. For example, the source text in the text, or I mean, you name it, let's say shape layer has a bunch. So for example, uh, the path maybe, or the fill here and all that stuff. So you get the idea, but it would be nice if I can only see, let's say, source text of my text. How do I do that? I don't want to go to each one of them and collapse them down and do it that way, but there's a much easier way to do it. All you have to do is go to this timeline search bar and inside here, just type, uh, let's do source text. And as you can see, it's going to show me only the source text that I have. So that's kind of nice. And by the way, I can do the same thing, maybe select only two so it's only going to do source text for the layers I have selected. So I'm going to do again, source text, and it's going to show me source text of, of the two layers that I have selected. But you know what? I, I can keep going with this. For example, I can just do comma and then say, let's do rotation. And then it's going to show me source text and rotation of the layers that I have selected. So that's nice. You can also do comma scale. So you can keep going with this for sure. So it's very handy. And another cool thing about this, you can also, if you click on this magnifying glass, it kind of gives you some options here. So you can also do missing fonts. For example, if I have a bunch of layers in here and I'm trying to figure out which text has, you know, the fonts missing, but if you just do missing fonts and it's only going to bring up that one text, that, uh, that text layer that has missing fonts. In my case, it's this one right here, and then you can fix it and then go back. And also another thing you can do missing effects. So the same thing, just click on that and it's going to bring up the layers that have missing effects. The last thing I want to mention about this timeline search bar is that you can actually search for expressions in your timeline. For example, I'm going to search for wiggle expression. And as you can see, here's my wiggle expression and it isolates the layer that has that expression on. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And also my twin brother and I have created a private mentoring group on Facebook and it's full of a lot of passionate, creative, like-minded people who are just amazing. In fact, I call them like my family. It's just an awesome place. And if you would like to be a part of it, it doesn't matter what stage you are at. You could be a pro or an amateur. Either way, you can either get helped or help somebody else. So if you'd be interested in that, make sure you follow the link at the bottom of this video. And we would love to see you there. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.